Well, we're here on Shrimps Player with Morecambe manager Jim Bentley. I uh, just thought we'd have a catch up, Jim. Uh, slow start to the beginning of the season, but we've just seen four wins out of four against quality opposition. Is, this, is it time to get excited? What, what are your thoughts on the season no, so far? No, definitely not. I think um, <laughs> you've got to take every game as it comes, you know, with seven games in or what have you. It has been a decent start now because of the last four games, but uh, you know the first two away performances at Wickham and Portsmouth were disappointing. Um, we played Torquay, probably a little bit of hangover after the efforts that we put in against Wolves. Thought we great for half an hour. Should have really have got the game wrapped up, you know, taking the lead, and that's uh, a little bit disappointed that we didn't see the game out. But uh, no, I think we can be uh, proud of our efforts over the last four weeks. Two home games, two away games to take maximum points has put us into a fantastic position. But uh, as I say, it's early days. We've got to make sure that we keep uh, working hard and saying and never get above ourselves. And, um, you know, go into each game as we are at the moment, full of confidence and ready to give it our all. And make, We're always prepared and we know what the opposition are going to be like and we know how we want to play. Uh, there's still room for improvement with regards to performance right throughout the game. I think, you know, as I say, 30 minutes against Torquay or half a game there against Newport or whatever, you know, that seems to be the way we are at the minute. But, you know, listening to other managers as well, that seems to be the the general uh, way of things at the moment. No one's really got up to full speed, which early season it can happen like that. So we're no different. We know we can play better, but what we have got at the minute, uh, that winner mentality and that, uh, you know, togetherness and spirit, uh, that never say die attitude and will to win and it's a, it's a nice nice um, healthy thing to have so results are going okay recently so uh, long may that continue but we know there's a lot more work to, to be done between now and the end of the season because it is a tough league and I'm sure you know there's teams who are all looking to get into the into the playoff positions we've got it at the moment and it's down to us now to look after it. Well, they say you shouldn't look at the table until Christmas, but I, I'm quite enjoying looking at the table at the moment, and our form's uh, really good. But there's a few surprises in the uh, in the table at the moment, would you say? Yeah, definitely. I think um, well, when you look at the top side, Chesterfield, they've you know strengthened you know good plays in there, and they seem to be going really well. I think yeah. they'll, anyone who finishes above them this season will certainly get promoted. I think um, you know Fleetwood, we know their squad; they've got good players. Um, but I think the likes of Cheltenham, Northampton, you know, maybe they got the hangover from last season. I expect them to be, you know, further up the, the uh, up the league. Um, Wimbledon, maybe people were probably thinking Wimbledon, similar to ourselves. They've started well. Obviously, they lost the last game, but uh, on the whole, they've done okay. So it, it does it takes, you know, as you say, ten, twelve games to level itself out, and then. You know, you can see where you're going to be at, but uh, with regards to ourselves, I don't really look at anyone else. It's it's about what we do. It is nice to see us in that position now, and you know, even if you go in the shops or you go in the pub or you whatever, you know, it's nice that people are saying, you know, good things about you and how, you, how well you're doing, and you know, we just keep it up. But it is, it's it's early days, and the saying that I've come out with is never too high, and never too low. We've we've won the last four. It's pleasing, but it, it stands for nothing now. It's all about backing it up with another victory against Dagenham on Saturday and you know, getting more points on the board and that'll keep us, you know, at the right end of the table where we want to be. Yeah, yeah. I mean and, and I think people are starting to take notice as well. You know, I'm I'm going around the town as well and people are, are saying about four we're gonna make it five on Saturday, you know, I think there's a bit of uh, uh, you know a buzz around the town uh, on the back of the success. And certainly off the back of the success with the with the with the cup run as well. You know, I'm, all right, we went out in the second round, mm -hmm. but against Wolves, we had a cracking game and we beat them. And you know, some would say that we actually either scored a goal or we should have had a penalty against Newcastle. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that's right. I think um, you know, when the cup competition does come round or any cup competition, it just seems to generate that little bit more interest. Certainly, with our games against Wolves and Newcastle both being live on Sky. Um, you know that was great financially for the club and for our players to pit the wits against you know so-called bigger and better clubs and players than and than ours. But uh, you know I think we deserved the Wolves game. I think um, anyone who watched it said yeah overall I think you deserved the win. Rolled our luck at times, but we certainly had chances to extend our lead um, and rightly so. We got into the next round and then when we pulled Newcastle again, it it um, you know got the town talking and everyone was coming down full house. 
Um, Sky was here again, as we said, but uh, I think performance-wise, we've probably been best against Wolves and Newcastle than we have in our league game, in our league game so far. So, but I think with the Newcastle one, we probably just had to score. You know, you could sense. Um, Some would say we did. Well, yeah, that's a different story. But <laughs> you know, it's, it's gone now. You can't do nothing about it. But if we would have scored, it could have been a different story because you know their crowd was just willing to turn on the manager. Might have put that doubt in the in the players' minds. Uh, the Newcastle players might have give us that extra little spring in our step. Um, we could have gone on maybe and won the game, but unfortunately we lost the game. But we've took the uh, feel good factor from them games into our league program and. Uh, you know, we, as I say, we, we, we always want more to perform better, but we've certainly got that winning mentality. I think, I think it, we, it's a nice habit to have is winning games, and yeah. that's what we'll, you know, we're looking to do. But Dagger and Saturday, they're going well. Um, you know, that'll be a tough game. It's it's all well and good what we've done over the last four weeks, but we've got to make sure that we're in front of our home supporters here. We know what 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 to expect, and we've got to make sure that we're right on it because if you're not. At this level, you get found out, so it's uh, it's important that you know we we take the confidence from the last couple of games, but we don't certainly think that we're just going to turn up and roll them all because we won the last four against you know good opposition as well. So uh, it'll be a tough game, but as I say, we're ready and ready to go. Well, seven league games gone, and you know, also with the eighth on Saturday and, and the two cup games as well, it takes a bit of toll already on injuries. And mm. you know, we, we think there's a, there's a match last week where we uh, named five subs. That's all. Yeah, that was at Newport, yeah, but that's what it is, what it is, you know, it can't affect it. It'd be nice to have one or two more bodies in, I think uh, everyone knows that, supporters, myself, the staff, even the players themselves, uh, the board, they'll know it, but at the moment it's not possible, so we bat on with what we've got. Um, what we have got is that togetherness and spirit and that everyone's involved, so it's great that there's no one sat in, uh, sat in the stand twiddling the funds, which has you know, been the case a little bit in years gone by. Uh, everyone's involved, everyone's looking forward to the match day on the Saturday. So, uh, yeah, we've had a few injuries, unfortunate ones. We do all our stuff with regards to uh, prehab, with regards to, um, you know, muscular injuries and flexibility and strength and all, all those things that Chris Griddle's done and, and Sam the farm with and the rest of the staff. But you can't do nothing about, you know, someone falling on his collarbone and snapping it or someone turning overly and needing a a hip operation after it, someone knocking a glass on the top of his foot. So we've, we've been quite unfortunate with, with regards to those type of injuries. And how are we doing with them? Um, well, Fleming's, you know, it was an unfortunate one, but um, we've tried to have a look at him today and it, we don't know. It's one of them, you don't know how long it's going to be. It could be a day, could be a week. You know, unfortunate, unfortunate for him, he was playing well. Mm -hmm. He's had a good pre-season, he's come yeah. back really strong. He's, he was definitely our star player in the last game before Newport against uh, Southend, mm. uh, so it's unfortunate, we'll have to see what happens with him. Um, little Jack's good, he's off his crutches, he's seen a specialist, he's making good progress, he's due to start running again next week. Um, Chris McCready's back in today for the first time since his operation, um, so he's probably looking around 10 week mark, something like that, to, to recover from that. Right. He's got a big scar, so... Their long term is Jack and uh, Chris, but obviously the sooner we can get Flemmo back, the better. And Marcus Marshall struggled with his hamstring a little bit, so um, he's saying this week he's still not 100%, so you know he can't really rush them. Because if it goes completely, we we'll could look at four to six weeks, so we've got to make sure that we manage him. But that's only, the only uh, muscular injury that we've got at the moment, which uh, touch wood. We've been quite lucky with we, over the last two years with the work that we've put in. Yeah. You know, with the uh, the fitness staff and uh, the physio, with regards to flexibility, I think um, you know injury wise we've done okay. We've 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 had to we've needed that little bit of lady luck, and we've probably got it. Um, even little things like the other week when we got a buy in the JPT, I think uh, you know likes of Paris Allison, Ryan Williams wouldn't have played in that game because we give them that week's rest. They were all right for the Saturday yeah. game, so that was a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Um, but it is, it's football, it's what happens, it goes on, you can't moan about it, you just got to get on with it. And whatever team goes out there will be ready and ready to go, which they will be come Saturday against Dagenham. And how have the, uh, the new lads fit into the, to the squad then? All fitted in, no problem. Uh, straight into the uh, swing of things in regards to the, the uh, team spirit. Um, they've all proven you know, they're here to work hard, improve. 
you know, every time they go over that white line, they give it all yeah. for the shirt, which I think we've proven again since since we've taken over. Uh, I won't accept anything less. It's the way I was as a player, and expect my players to be the same. So there's no problems in that regards. They're all good lads. They're all good um, good characters. You know, personalities are different, obviously, but they all bring something different to the changing room. Um, Big Tony's coming. I think he's uh, settled in no problem. He lives in the area. He's, he's doing okay. Um, still a young lad at 22, mm. got loads of uh, potential, and it's down to us to get it out of him. Um, you know, we, he could potentially go on to to a higher level. Um, he will have his, he will have his ups and downs and his uh, development, um, but he's done okay. Um, Alex Kenyon, I think he's gone from stem to stem. Yeah. I think the fans have seen what type of player he is. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, at 20, just turned 21, I think he is. Uh, you know, he's definitely got a bright future in the game. He's uh, unbelievable appetite and hunger for the game. He, he has gone from Everton right down to college football and made, made his way back up through the non league ranks. And he's now at a League Two club, and you can see that he thinks this is his chance, and he's definitely got a chance of going to the, the higher level up again. Um, he was particularly excellent last Saturday. Yeah, he's done well to be fair to him. Um, you know, he's in and out a little bit. His last couple of games, I think he's done really well. Uh, and again, he's getting fit and stronger. Maybe the, the work that they've done at the previous clubs isn't what we like to do here. Yeah. So he's got to take the the change around on board. Uh, he's doing everything asked of him. But we, we're confident that we can make him, you know, fitter and stronger and uh, more dynamic, uh, a better footballer, and, you know, all round better player. Uh, that's what we believe and that's what we believe of all the players. They're all at a good age and they can all improve. Yeah. So uh, he's doing okay. Alex Marshy obviously he's had his uh, injury problems, but uh, again, seeing him pre season, the, the potential's there. I think uh, the goal he scored at St Johnston, you know, that's our best goal so far. You were there, weren't you? Were you no, there? No? no. It was an unbelievable goal. It was uh, you know, similar to something like uh, T.A. Only would have scored. So, you know, he's proven that he's got it in there. He's yeah. shown. In uh, patches in pre-season, he's got it. So it's you know hopefully he can get over his injury problems and uh, we can get him back on the field to play. And I'm sure he'll uh, show everyone he can do. But at 23 years of age, he's mm -hmm. certainly got a lot of potential. Uh, Big Jack, Jack Sampson's been fantastic for us. Yeah. I think everyone will see that. You know, leading the line, uh, strength, uh, mobile. You know, works his balls off. Mm -hmm. He's been unlucky not to have, get himself on the score sheet more than he has already. Fantastic goal itself, end, but uh, you know the goal disallowed here. Yeah. Um, he's had a couple of chances, a couple at Wickham. So I think he's another one. Twenty, he's going to go from stem to stem. Um, Podge, Podge has come in and done well. He's off the mark now. He's got a couple of goals. Yeah. He took a little bit of time to get into the feel of things. Um, maybe because he wasn't part of the group as much as the other lads. He seemed to be on the outside looking in because he wasn't signed at the same time they were. But he's getting fitter and stronger, and uh, you know there's no doubt that he can score goals. He's got two now, so um, you, but what you get out of Podge is an unbelievable way of having it. And uh, you know he's we, we had a chat with him level. last week, and he's well up for it, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good lad. He's a yeah. good pro. He works. He works hard every day. Um, always gives it all in his, in his games. Um, you know, and thankfully he's playing slightly out of position, but it's a position that he can he can play and he suits and. Uh, you know, he's got into. He could have had an attack against Newcastle. Yeah. You know, he should have scored one or two more in the other games. But thankfully for us, he's off the mark now, yeah. so he's not chasing himself uh, for too long because he can't play on centre forward or strikers' minds if he don't score. So uh, he's done all right, Podge. I think there's more in the tank for them as well. But he's getting to where we expect him to be, and yeah. his performances. Uh, you know, since we've gone on this little run, have got better and better. So uh, pleased for him. Um, if we missed out after that, there's oh, um, Uzi. I'm going to say the captain, uh, yeah. the guy that's wearing your shirt. Yeah, yeah, he's done done very well. He's come in, no problem at all. You know, he he's one of the main ones in the dressing room. Along, you know, he travels with Kevin Allison. Yeah. Um, so you know, those two together, it's, yeah. it's great. They're great in the dressing room. Performance-wise, played every game. Yeah. Um, you know, always what I like about him, which goes unnoticed. He always seems to be like a centre forward, like a, a John Aldridge or something. Always on the right right spot. He seems to be in the right area to you know clear crosses or get the the final last ditch blocking. Um, again, he can improve. He's got loads of uh, 
He's got loads of ability, but he's still got potential in there yeah. at 26. It's down to us now. We're doing things with him that he hasn't done before at previous clubs, so we think we can improve him, but he certainly started well. He's led the team. He's a good voice in the dressing room and on the pitch. And um, yeah, pleased for him. It's it's a bit strange when I see a number five shape with my name on the back, but uh, you know he certainly filled it, and uh, you know he's leading the team well at the moment. Good, good. Well, we look forward to Saturday. Uh, again, like you said, it's you know it's going to be another test for us. You know, Dagenham are a, a, a certainly a, a team I always see, see as a parallel to us, like yeah. a southern version of Morecambe, I think. Yeah. So, you know, they, they won't be uh, a pushover. No. Uh, so, we we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon, uh, hopefully after a, a fifth on the bounce victory. And uh, thanks for your time. Cheers. Cheers.